hi guys lens here so in this video i have a, a 23 and this one is one of those phone that got updated and after it was updated it is not responding and also it's not detecting so let me show you what i mean when a phone is detected you should see that device manager will jump you will see everything just flicker like let me show you guys what i'm talking about so i have this other samsung phone you will see a device manager will just refresh all of the different drivers the phone is not responding we are unable to turn the phone on we are unable to do anything whatsoever right so so what we will have to do we definitely will have to open the device and there's a mode that called edl mode let have different way of doing it some phones you can press multiple buttons and try to do it uh if we try to do it using the volume down and power button let's see it's not working so we have to put the phone into edl mode right so what i'm going to do here i'm going to remove the back glass So far guys we we have loosened up the back cover so far. Well, we still have to take our time. So as stated we're trying our best we're trying to wake up the adhesive if you have to use heat use heat it's kind of risky doing it this way if you have if you do have the experience and you think that you know what you're doing then but I have loosened up the back cover. I have loosened it up and I'm just gonna use some heat. So let's see, we should be able to get this up, nice. So we just remove the back cover, then we need to remove all the screws, all the screws we need to remove. So guys, I already loosened up all the screws and it is just for them to fall out of place and all, of, all the screws are here. We want to take the middle frame off. So we're going to take our time, we're going to take this middle frame off. So the middle frame, the middle frame, the middle frame is off, but we have to make sure that we be careful with this ribbon. This one is for the power button. We 
which is this ribbon here. So we have to be very careful with this ribbon here. When you open the phone, that's the first thing you want to be careful with. Now, so far, this is inside of the phone, so we want to unplug the battery, right? When we unplug the battery, the first thing I'm going to try is to plug in the USB cable to see if the device will detect without the battery. So this is what we're going to do. And as you can see, it's still not detecting. Let us do it again. Still not detecting. You want to connect the battery and you want to try again. So it's still not detecting. So it's like a dead phone. So connect two pins together. There are a lot of different combinations for different phones and sometimes you have to look up the schematic online for the device as to where exactly it is for this phone these two small dots there so we need to connect these two pins make sure they are connected we connect the usb cable so guys come 17 we are going to put 17 hit enter and as you can see yeah it's doing its thing and that should be it So guys, you can see that the phone lights up. And yeah, I'm just about to flash the device, but we need to get some charge into the phone first. So guys, I actually gave it a few minutes to charge. It's very good to do this with the battery charge up. So that we don't get any problem when we flash or it, don't, it or it don't run out of power that can create more damage so what we're going to be doing we are actually in audience mode and i want to show you something on my computer All right so i want to show you that this is detected you see this yellow icon here so it's actually ready for us to flash and let's go
we are done and when you see that green button it means that okay let me just so guys we are done take a look we are done it is actually a lot of different steps but we get the job done so I'm going to go ahead and plug back in the charger give this phone some charge and then guys we are going to put back up the phone uh, it's just the reverse way of taking it down and as you can see the phone is revived this issue is an issue that happened after the update and there are a lot of people who suffered this issue there are a lot of people who suffer this problem and it's not their fault so i hope that this video was helpful and thanks to all those who you know put these files online so we can access them to get this phone fixed so i'll probably put the other information in the video description or in the comment section i hope that this was helpful as you can see the phone is up back and working and revived So yeah, we are done.